but today is the first time in months that I'm actually independently going out and doing an actual errand. Good Saturday morning, everyone. Today, I'm feeling pretty good. I've been having fun with Hippo. She was, thank you for shoving your nose in my mouth. She was shoving her uh, dinosaur at me all day, so I got on the floor to play with her a bit. You silly dog. Yeah, oh, you like to be scratched right there. So, anyways. Today is an exciting day for me because recently I have been given back my driving privileges with restrictions and I did a quick errand to Walmart to do a grocery pickup the other day so I order the groceries online and they bring them to the car but today is the first time in months that I'm actually independently going out and doing an actual errand and I am so thrilled for this independence. So today I'm going to an eyeglass world, just a place to get my eyes checked, to get an updated contact and glasses prescription. And it's nothing too strenuous, but I'm doing it by myself. And when I go out independently, there's a few things I need to do to make sure I'm safe and I have the best possible experience. So first I need to see how I'm feeling in the morning. Do I feel well enough to drive? And today, that's a total yes, and I'm thrilled because sometimes I do have to cancel plans last minute based on how I'm feeling. Then I need to choose what's going with me. Obviously, I always have my inhalers and EpiPens, emergency meds, things like that. But today, what is going to help me best do this trip? The walker or the wheelchair? And since this eyeglass world is a very small store and there's going to be like no walking involved, I'm choosing to bring my walker today and, of course, Harlow. And... It's just going to be us girls. I know going to get your eyes checked sounds like a simple errand, but for someone like me who didn't have that ability because I couldn't drive and I just wasn't well enough to go out alone for a few months, it means a lot to me because my health is improving and no things aren't perfect, but I like that saying, progress, not perfection. So we're going to go out and have a good trip. Well, I made it, ready to get my eyes checked. I don't think my prescription has changed, but in order to get more contacts, I need an updated script. And even though I'm feeling pretty good today, I have my walker because walking is quite the task for me and it helps to prevent falls. And it also has a seat on it, so if I need to sit down for whatever reason, there's one readily available for me. It just makes me feel more secure to have my mobility device, especially when I'm out by myself. What did you think, Carlo? Everyone in there loved her. We were in there for like 20 minutes. They were very efficient, very thorough, so nice. And my eyes are one of like the least complicated parts of my body. My eyes are super healthy. I'm just a bit nearsighted. That means far away things are blurry, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm nearsighted. And my script did change. It got a quarter worse. So I was negative 1.5 for both eyes and now I'm negative 1.75 for both eyes. But I'm almost out of contacts anyway, so I gotta order new ones and I'll have my new prescription. You were so good in there, Hippo. There wasn't a lot of room, so she had to really tuck to stay out of the way. So proud of her. Wait for it. Wait for it. I can hear her. <laughs> were you looking for your ball? You found it? I haven't seen this ball in a while, but I heard you grab it. Give. Ready? Back. Back. I'll right, get back. Back. <laughs> While Harlow has a ton of energy, I do not. After an errand like that, I always need to come home and rest for a bit because when you are constantly battling chronic illnesses, even simple things like a quick errand can make you very, very tired. So I'm going to rest and recuperate. Seriously? Did you just get into your toy bin? Are you gonna bring them all out? <laughs> she loves to scatter her toys all over the house and then I have her put them away and then they're out again. <laughs> hey Harlow, can you do me a favor? Stan, can you get the blanket? Get the blanket. Good dog. Very good. 
This is the exact blanket I need. Thank you. Cozy and warm. Not even two seconds later and she's got her pizza out. How many toys are you gonna bring out, Harlow? <laughs> Well, Harlow is gonna have a blast taking all her toys out and playing with them, and while she does that, I am going to take a break. So I dozed off for a bit, and when I woke up, I found this. Toys? 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 <laughs> and toys. You having fun, hippo? So obviously Harlow is allowed to take out her toys and play with them whenever she wants, but when so many are out and scattered like this, it's a tripping hazard and it's hard for me to get my walker through the house so I just have her put them away which is good practice for her retrieval and her cleanup command and then she takes them out again then she puts them away and it's just this ongoing cycle. up to my infusion and we got some packages this one has blackout curtains and we have the same blackout curtains in our room I ordered this one for the guest room and these pretty turquoise curtains to match the color theme in here but anyways I got these curtains for the guest room because Judd is going to night shift this coming week so everything's gonna be reversed his daytime is my nighttime and vice versa and Every time he goes to a new shift, we kind of have to figure out what works for us and when we're both awake so we can like spend time together. I'm actually trying to go to bed later at night so I can be awake more when he is. But with my narcolepsy, I can't really mess up my sleep schedule too much. However, we always figure it out. We'll get used to it. And we need to get used to it because he's going to be on this shift for the rest of the year. So anyways, I got the blackout curtains for this room as well. So in case I have to be in our bedroom, during the day for whatever reason he has two places he can comfortably sleep during the day and these really do black out the room it's crazy so I'll put a link to the blackout curtains if y'all are interested because I looked forever to find good blackout curtains and I'm so glad I finally have them and we've got another package are you so excited this is from my friend Melody and she is the owner of the nonprofit Brave Soul Blankets I spoke of them before and she sent this to me as a belated Christmas gift and it came just in time for my hospital stay with my surgery <gasps> I love it oh my gosh I wish y'all could feel this it feels so amazing what do you think hippo is this another blanket you're gonna steal I don't think so my favorite color pink oh I love it Okay, so this is a special fabric. It's kind of like gauze, so it's not too hot, but keeps you warm still. I love this. Melanie, thank you. Do you like it? Do you like it? Are you so happy? <laughs> so, Melanie's nonprofit, Brave Soul Blankets, they strive to gift these wonderful handmade blankets to people battling life-altering illnesses and they fund their project by also selling these blankets. So if you want to learn more about Brave Soul Blankets, I'll put a link in the description. Melanie's just an awesome person. She battles her own chronic illnesses and she likes to help others and her blankets are amazing. Hippo likes to steal them. <laughs> well y'all, I apologize for the terrible camera quality, but I forgot my memory card in my computer, so I can't use my camera, I'm using my phone. But anyways, my mom and I are going on a mother-daughter dinner date. We're excited. Well, you know, I mistakenly left the memory card in the computer when my mom and I went out to dinner. And since I didn't have the camera to use, I kind of just thought, you know what, let's just put technology away for tonight. No cameras, phones, and my mom and I just really enjoyed each other's company. We laughed so much and had a great night. I just wanted to treat her to dinner because she's amazing just wanted to do something to say thank you a little extra anyways finding a restaurant was a little bit of a conundrum and here's just one example of why my mom is so amazing 
she's very patient with me and she doesn't make a big deal out of things. So the first food restaurant we went to was a seafood place that my mom has been wanting to try. But being the weekend, Saturday night, it was very busy. The music was loud. And while we were waiting for a table, even though I had my headphones on, I just looked at her and she could tell I was not doing okay with all of the noise. And she just said, that's fine, let's go somewhere else. No big deal. I really appreciated that. Then we went to try an Italian restaurant, but she looked inside and before she even opened the door, she turned around and said, not here. <laughs> and I asked why and she said, there's live music. So that wouldn't have been good either. So then we ended up going to an Irish restaurant and the music they were playing through the restaurant was pretty loud. So I mentioned to my mom, like, this place is a little loud too, but I'll be okay. And then the waiter or the hostess said, oh, is the music too loud for you? I can turn it down. And before I could even tell her, like, I would never ask a restaurant to turn down their music for me. She just turned down the music in the restaurant. And I was just, my mom and I were so, so appreciative of that. Cause that's a, that's not something anyone has to do for me, you know, but it's just so nice of her. And the whole restaurant was just really kind to us. Not that places are usually mean, but they just went like above and beyond. And we had a great night, enjoyed each other's company, and there's just a lot to be thankful for. Kind people like the hostess who turned the music down, which again, I would never ask a restaurant to do that for me, but it's very nice of her. And my mom, who is patient and kind, and Harlow, who is adorably sleeping already, and I am going to join her. So with that, I will say goodnight, and thanks for joining us on our adventure.